WebHarvey lets you automatically submit a list of keywords to a search form and scrape resulting data displayed after submitting each keyword. Let's follow an example. Suppose you have a list of ASINs using which you need to perform search at Amazon's website and you need to extract product details corresponding to each ASIN. If you are not familiar with Amazon, ASIN is Amazon's standard identification number, a unique number for each product available in Amazon. For this, we first load the Amazon homepage within WebHarvey, which has the search box where we can enter the ASINs and perform a search. Click on the search box and then select Mind Menu Input a list of keywords. In the resulting window, you can paste the keywords which you have, ASIN in this case, and click the OK button. Now you can see that WebHavi has automatically filled the first keyword which we entered in the search box. Do not change this. If you have other search options like checkboxes or list boxes, you can select those. Also, WebHavi supports multiple input keyword lists. So if there is another text input field in the search form, you can input another list of keywords there and during mining, WebHavi will mine using all possible combinations of keywords present in multiple lists. In this simple example, we are using only a single keyword list. Click on the search button to perform the search. One thing to note here is that while using WebHavi's browser, it is recommended that you use the mouse for all click actions rather than using the enter search keys of your keyboard. We have now loaded the search results page corresponding to the first keyword in the list and this page contains the data which we need to extract. So click the start config button to start the configuration process. Now here we need to scrape only the first or the best matching result for the word which we submitted. Sometimes there might be other products listed below the first result. So to prevent WebHavi from selecting multiple products from the search results, we can select Edit Menu, Edit Options, Disable Start Page Pattern Detection. You need not do this in case you require to extract all results displayed in the search results page. In case the search results span over multiple pages, we can also select the next page link. We can now start selecting data. Let's start with the product name. and follow the product title link to load the product details page. And once the product details page is loaded, additional data can be selected. As always, use the capture following text option whenever possible. If the preview area shows more content than what you actually need, you can select only the required portion using the mouse and then click the capture text button. Use the capture following text method as far as possible. Now let's stop the configuration by clicking the stop config button. Before starting mining, if you go to edit menu and take settings and then open the category keyword tab, you can see this option here which lets you add an additional column during mining filled with the corresponding search keyword. Select this option and give a suitable name for the column. and apply changes. Now we can start mining by clicking the start mine button. Click the start button and WebHavi will start collecting data as per the configuration we just created. You can see that WebHavi will mine product data for each ASIN which we submitted 
as keywords in the configuration. We hope you find this second part of Aparvi tutorials useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our support. Thank you.